Hi everyone, I'm in the best of August and I'm Marco. I'm here to help you upgrade the fear of commerce in you. So let's do it with indices for today. So the secret about indices is to just know the rules and the laws governing indices. So the first law of indices. So in case you see this, these are the basis that these are the basis and these are the exponents. So you just choose one base and you add the exponent. So two plus two. That gives you two exponents four. Three. Okay, so to summarize everything for the first law, if the bases are the same and they are multiplied, you just add the exponents. That will give you the final answer. <laughs> Three. So let's take the first example. So base three exponent two times base three exponent two. So in this case, you choose one base because they are multiplying, you add. So one base has a three, two plus two, I give you three exponent four, that give you 81 as a final answer. Three. So let's go straight to the second law. So the second law says that if the bases are the same and they are divided, you just subtract the powers. So you have two exponent two here. So you choose one base, the base A. If they are dividing, so the law says you subtract. So two minus two, that gives you A exponent zero. So any time you see A exponent zero, that means a equal to one. Any number is more than zero equal to one. Sorry. Okay. So let's move on to law three. So in law three. So let's make it to be n. So in this case, you just choose a base. This being the base, you just choose the base and you multiply the exponent. So m times n. That gives you a m n. So let's take an example. So three let's two two. So you just choose the base as a three and multiply the exponent two times two. That give you three base four. That give you eighty one. Again. There are further rules for governing indices. So, in case you see such a person like this, it's a reciprocal of that number. So, one is one over n base a n. So, they, you can convert this to this, or you can change this also to this. So, in case you, you see this, you can rewrite it the same as this. So, let's take example under this further rule. Three, three exponent two. So this can be written as one over three squared. That give you one over nine. So let's move on. Further rule again. So in case you see such a person like this. Okay, so if you see such a question, this exponent is affecting this and affecting this also. So you get something like a b over a b is divided, you subtract the powers, go back to the second law. So this becomes a a b b. So minus. So Choose one base a minus b a exponent zero. That give you one. Any number exponent zero is one. So let's take example on this. So three three. Let's take two. So in this question. You have to expand this. This is affecting this and affecting this also. So get three 
square three square three square is nine and three square is nine this concept is one so the answer is one let's move on to the last federal rule in indices and we're done for the day so okay so in case you see this question we have a negative sign here or an inverse we can call it negative sign or inverse form so in this case what you need to do is just interchange the numerator and the denominator so c over b so this will then change to become a positive num uh, number or variable then you expand again c exponent c b exponent c is dividing so you, you subtract you choose the since the bases are not the same you will write it in, in this form c exponent c minus b exponent c so since the bases are not the same we leave it in this form thank you for watching this video